Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to the video review. This time everyone, we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Sludge. Or, not Sludge. Uh, Star -all, sorry. As you can see, Zelda Brode is that of a Stegosaurus. Power codes mostly is, well, gray, gold, black, silver, Autobot symbol, red, blue, and that's it. Um, he did appear in the Power of the Primes series. Uh, had a bit of a role in the beginning beating up like Team Megatron, but then didn't really have much of a factor after that, so yeah, that's really him in a nutshell. So although he looks pretty good, uh, articulation-wise, front legs go forward back, back legs go forward back out to the side, they bend, they rotate, and that's really it. He does come with a couple accessories. He comes with his prime armor, also comes with a clear sword which sometimes is hard to pop out. He is one of the limbs, or one of the components for Volcanicus, and you'll see that once we get to Sludge and so on. So all in all, uh, Snarl, here, Snarl here looks pretty good and pretty epic, I'll say. Transformation to his robot mode is pretty, it's pretty basic. First thing you wanna do is split the front of the, ter of the data mode, fold in the head, take the Take the back, the main parts of the Stegosaurus here, flip it around, open up the panels here, on the back here. Uh, actually, you know, rotate these guys around, rotate the uh, rotate the front legs around, and then take, yeah, then you can open the panels, and then you should be able to split the rest of this and fold it around, so just to fold the, yeah, fold these panels around, like thus, if you can. There we go. Do the same thing on the other side. Do the same thing, rotate it around. Like that. And that's really the feet. The rest of the transformation, come to the underside, flip open the hands. Like thus. And then, take the back tail, split it open, like that. And then, what you wanna do is open this panel here Come under here, pry open the head, open this panel, close it back up, and then the arms, it's pretty cool, rotate them forward. Well, actually, yeah, open this panel first. See these parts here? Rotate them up and rotate them forward. So do the same thing on the other side. Take them up, rotate them around, and rotate them like that. Like that and then take the blades here and put them on the back like thus. And yeah, that's just all you gotta do now is to situate them <laughs> like thus. And there you go, there you have Snarl in his robot mode. Looks well, pretty dynamic, I'll say. Looks pretty imposing, very imposing. Articulation wise, his head will go full 360 up and down side to side. The arms will go full 360 out to the side, bit of the elbow, rotate, and that's it. He is really, wrist bend, but that's really it. He does have waist, which is pretty cool. Let's go forward back, out to the side, bend of the knee, rotate, and there's really no feet articulation. Just They're just bolded in there. Take a look at the head. It looks pretty good. It's just, he just looks very stout. Kind of like Boulder from Thomas. The same. Uh, Weapon-wise, you can give him a sword, or you can just store it on his arm if you want. Have uh, Maybe like an arm blade. I think that's I find that more more imposing. It's kind of hilarious, but you know what I'm saying. The prime armor you can put on the chest, or you can just put it on anywhere else. So, you know, I, I know I'm I'm, not, I'm really <laughs> a fan of of weapon swords. So I'm just just saying. Anyway, so all in all, I recommend getting uh, Snarl. He looks pretty good. He looks very good. I'll say, looks impressive. I'll say he's very epic. I would highly recommend getting him if you want to complete the Volcanica set, or if you're just a fan of the G1 Dinobots in particular. So, I'd say get him if you can find him. He looks pretty imposing, I don't think he'll be disappointed by him one bit. So yeah, that's my video review of the Transformers Generations Power of the Primes Deluxe Class uh, Starl. I will see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video. Yes, so take care everyone. See you soon. Have a great day, and I shall catch you all later. Bye-bye.